Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at solving exponential equations. And we're going to use a strategy that I call taking the log of both sides. So what does this mean? Well, we're going to take the log of both sides. So if we are given the equation a to the x equals y, then we can take the log of the complete left side and the log of the complete right side in the same base. And then hopefully there's something that we can do from there that's going to help because obviously that does not look ideal. Um, but generally when we apply this strategy, it's specifically for the natural base E. And we specifically want to use log base E, which we also refer to as the natural log. And the natural log. And the reason we want to do this is because there's an identity that says if we have the natural log of E to the X, uh, this becomes just X. And the reason for that is because when we have a, a logarithm, if there's an exponent in the argument, you can move that exponent out in front. And then this is log base E of E, which equals one, and that's one times X, which is X. So this would be a strategy that we can use if it's convenient to do. If it's gonna be something really awkward, like I wouldn't wanna do log base seven of E because seven and E don't really have anything in common that's going to help me uh, with solving an equation. So just to look at an example, if I have log, uh, I'm sorry, I don't have log, I have e to the x equals eight, and then what I could do is I take the ln of both sides. So I take the ln of the entire left-hand side, the natural log of the left-hand side, and the natural log of the right-hand side. What ends up happening here? This becomes x, and then we have x is equal to the natural log of eight. That's it, then we can put that in our calculator because we have a key for the natural log and we figure out that X is approximately 2.079. In this next example, I see that we have that, that base E not by itself because it's being multiplied by 1 fourth. Since we can't multiply, instead what we're gonna do is, well, okay, we can't multiply 1 fourth to E. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 1 fourth to clear out that fraction, which would be four over one, which is equivalent to four. So those cancel, I'm left with e to the x is equal to 28. Now that I have my base e all by itself, I can take the natural log of both sides. Remember, we specifically wanna use natural log to, to counteract that base e. The natural log of e to the x is just x, and ln of 28 is approximately 3.332. So kind of a fun strategy that we get to use here that does save a little bit of time. Now this is, you know, the other strategy you could use is the change of base, which you can absolutely do. Um, but this is probably a little bit less time. Okay, two more examples. In the first example, I want to get that e to the x by itself, so I'll add one to both sides. I get e to the x is equal to six. And now to, to get x out of the exponent, I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. And this would leave me with x, so I end up with x is equal to ln of 6, and that means that x, ooh, gross, is approximately, the ln of 6 is approximately 1.792. And our last example here, I want to subtract 7 from both sides to get that base e by itself. That leaves me with e to the x minus 4 is equal to 135. Now in this case, um, when I take the natural log of both sides, notice it's not just x that's coming out of the exponent. What am I going to be left with over here? It's going to be x minus 4. So we get x minus 4 is equal to the natural log of 135. That would be x minus 4 is approximately, the natural log of 135 is about 4.905. Then to get x by itself, I need to add 4 to both sides. So it looks tempting to want to add four, but we can't do it when X is in the exponent. We have to save that for the very end. I add four to both sides and I get that X is approximately 8.905. So keep in mind when we use this strategy, you don't have a choice as to which log button you hit. You must use the natural log because the natural log is the one that cancels out with that natural base E. These have been some examples of taking the log of both sides to solve an exponential equation.